understanding now that the purpose of wedge tops, it seems like extra work because you're thinking, oh, you know, I got to break out that wedge. I got to nail it back in. I got to break it out every year. I'm breaking it out and I'm nailing it in you. It seems like you're spending a lot of extra time wasting a lot of brads doing so. But when you compare that to the time that you would spend instead trying to use some little screwdriver or something to clean out a groove in a groove top frame, you know, in the long run, it's probably a wash uh, on time or maybe even faster to do this. Now, you know, like I said, I was a big proponent for uh, groove top frames before I really understood the full utility of a wedge top frame. What I've found is, you know, wedge top frames or groove top frames are great if you're all you're ever going to run is plastic foundation because even when you go to swap out that foundation for fresh foundation, you could snap the old piece out and the bees, of course, have never been able to put beeswax in that groove where the uh, plastic was. But with pure beeswax foundation, you have to get that groove cleaned out. Um, but what I've found, you know, when I go into removals and stuff, is I'll use a groove top frame to cut comb and stick comb into. And then when I go to use that frame later and want to put pure beeswax foundation to it, I can't because the bees have filled that whole groove with beeswax. So, you know, it, it's kind of looking like I'm probably going to start switching to all wedge top frames. They're couple dollars more expensive for a hundred packs so it's really not that big of a deal now that i understand the full utility of them i think i actually prefer them